Are you tired of your iPhone's ringer volume being low? Hello friends, I am Carly. In this video, I will show 9 different solutions to fix it. Here are some reasons displayed on the video screen that cause low ringer volume problems on the iPhone. So, let's get started. Check and turn off focus and do not disturb mode. If you have turned on focus or do not disturb mode on your iPhone, it may affect the volume settings. So, we need to disable them. Launch the settings app on your iPhone, swipe up, and tap on focus. Then, tap on work focus, swipe up, and find smart activation. Tap on it and turn off the toggle next to smart activation. If you have set a schedule for do not disturb mode and it turns on automatically, open the focus settings and tap do not disturb. Then swipe up and tap on time. Here, turn off the toggle next to the schedule or delete it. At last, confirm the delete schedule. If it is turned on from control center, Swipe down from the upper right corner and tap on Do Not Disturb. Again, tap on it to turn it off. Additionally, turn off the Bluetooth toggle to reduce auto connect to hearing devices. That's it. If the problem persists, follow the second solution. Disable attention aware features. When attention aware features are enabled on your iPhone, the True Depth camera detects if you're looking at your device. If you are, it automatically lowers the volume of alerts and ringtones to be less disruptive, assuming you're already aware of the notification. So, let's look at the steps to disable the attention-aware feature on your iPhone. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and tap on Face ID and Passcode. Here, enter your iPhone passcode if prompted. Then, swipe up and turn off the toggle next to the attention-aware feature. That's it. If your iPhone's volume changes unexpectedly, follow the third solution. Adjust ringer volume, unlock your iPhone, and open the settings app. Swipe up and tap sounds and haptics. The volume slider is available under the ringtone and alerts section. Drag the volume slider from left to right to increase the ringer volume. Also, turn on the toggle next to change with buttons. Now, you can adjust the ringer volume of your iPhone directly using the volume buttons. Alternatively, you can open the control center at the top right corner and set the volume slider higher. Now, swipe up and tap headphone safety. Check if the reduce loud sounds feature is toggled on. It may lower the volume automatically when you connect headphones and listen to music, so turn it off. Check app specific settings. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone. Swipe up and go to the Notification section. Swipe up and select the particular app, such as the Message app, and make sure the Allow Notification toggle is enabled and the alerts and badges are selected. Restart your iPhone. Doing this clears temporary bugs within your iPhone device. Here are the steps. Press and hold the power button and volume up or down keys together until you see the slide to power off option on your iPhone screen. Then, move the slider from left to right to turn off your iPhone. Press the side power button and wait for the restart process to complete. Check for software update. Make sure your iPhone is running the latest software version. To check, launch the settings app. Tap on the general section and then on software update. Wait for a moment to check your device for an update. If you see that your iPhone is up to date, then skip this step. Remove iPhone case. Using a tight iPhone case and repeatedly pressing the volume button to increase the ringer volume may damage your iPhone's volume buttons. So, please remove it and manually reset the ringer volume from the sounds and haptic settings. If you face a sudden sound off and do not come back, follow the next solution. Reset all settings. Launch the settings app on your iPhone. Tap on general. Swipe up and tap on transfer and reset iPhone. Here, tap on reset. You can see multiple reset options available here. Select reset all settings option. Then, enter your iPhone passcode and confirm by tapping on reset all settings. After that, Wait for the reset all settings process to complete and your iPhone to turn on. 
Please note that resetting all settings will erase your personalized settings, but it won't delete your data or media. If none work, the last solution is to contact Apple support. Launch the Safari browser and visit the Apple support website. Then, log in with your Apple ID. Write about your problem under Tell Us What's Happening and hit the return key. Here, you can read suggested articles or contact the Apple support team via call or chat. Also, if your iPhone's volume button is not working or is damaged, you can schedule a Genius Bar appointment to get Apple authorized service and repair. I hope you found this video helpful in solving your iPhone's low ringer volume issue. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more useful tips and tricks videos.